Hey guys, welcome back to tutorial number two. So at the end of this video, you will be able to build a navigation drawer like this in the app. So we are going to have a screen in which you can put your profile picture. We are going to have a button in which you can change the theme of your app. And also you will have a favorite page in which you can see all the arrival timing of your favorite bus services. So we will also handle for the title bar of the main page to make sure there is something there. And um, by the way, if you haven't downloaded my app on the Google Play Store, feel free to go to Google Play Store to download my SG Transport, install it on your Android phone and play around with it. So this app is going to be um, our goal. So I'm going to build uh, all the functions in this app. I'm going to show you how to do that. And install it on your phone. And the other thing is, uh, if you'd like to contribute to my channel, continue to support me to make sure I can continue to do um, uh, more and greater content uh, to show on the video, uh, to show on the YouTube. Uh, feel free to buy me a coffee, and uh, your contribution can, your your support can really make uh, allow me to continue to uh, do the thing that I love to do. So, um, so in the last video, we actually cover the homepage in which uh, will be built MD two bar. So when you click on this, uh, this uh, magnifying glass, you can actually. Uh, type in the address that you want to find in Singapore and then uh, focus on that point and we create a map view and this map view will have a blinker that show your actual location on the device and then we also call, uh, create a portal navigation bar in which you have level button to allow you to go to uh, to allow you to change screen to the screen that you want to uh, go so uh, due to the time constraint, we didn't actually cover um, the title bar. By the way, if you think that I will go, I was going too fast in the tutorial number one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to go back to the text-based version of the tutorial in my website. Uh, if you still have any questions, you can still post your questions on the YouTube channel uh, video, and I will try my best to answer your questions. And yeah, without further ado, let's look at how we can create something like this in the tutorial today. So um, so let's go back to our code on the um, <clears throat> Visual Studio code. I think this is where we left off in the last uh, tutorial. And uh, in the main talk TV, we actually only have a screen manager that allows us to change between different screens. But <clears throat> We really want to have a, <coughs> a title bar that is on top of this navigation layout that actually doesn't change. Uh, because no matter you are at what screen, uh, we really want to have a title bar <coughs> that says uh, what screen is this, what this screen is actually doing, things like that. So we actually want to put the MD2 bar above of the navigation layout and that is our step number one. So step one, we copy this MD2 bar <coughs> and then we put it on top of the screen. Uh, sorry, on top of the navigation layout, but then we put it under the root. So this MD2 bar is going to have an ID of title name and then title of SG Transport. So So if you come back to uh, the change screen function, uh, in the last video we talked about if screen name is equal to home screen, we want to put the self dot root dot IDs, which is the screen. This is the root dot ID, which is the title name, dot title, which is the attribute of this MD two bar. We want to put it as SG transport, which is as default of the home page. But later on, when we change to different screens, we want to uh, use this to change uh, this SG transport to something else, which you will see in the next tutorial onwards. <clears throat> so every, every different screen, we want to put different content on the title. Okay, that is the first step. Save it. And the second step, <clears throat> so, so what happens is you will have a left action item. Um, so let's run it. Which I want to show you what is left action item. 
because this left action item is going to have an icon called menu it's a three line icon and as you click this button it's going to call a function called toggle navigation drawer what is navigation drawer? navigation drawer is our MD navigation drawer which we haven't defined yet so we're going to call the toggle navigation drawer function inside the navigation drawer to make sure this one will open up a navigation drawer for us and we're going to say this toolbar color is equal to m dot team class dot primary color and elevation is just some shadow under this toolbar and posting and size hint are the position and size of this toolbar so position will need to be on the top and then the size uh, the y we want it to be 0 0.1 10 percent <clears throat> so um the next thing that we want to do is to add the navigation drawer in the main.kv so where we are going to add it is under the navigation layout we are going to put it at the same level as the screen manager so i'm just going to copy this md navigation layout and then i'm going to put here so <clears throat> now i'm going to explain this md navigation drawer so you can see that we put a I put an ID of navigation drawer here. So this navigation drawer is referring to the navigation drawer here. So when we click this menu button, the three line hamburger button, it's going to call navigation drawer, which is this navigation MD navigation drawer to call the function within it, which is called toggle navigation drawer. This is going to open up uh, MD navigation drawer, and then when you click again, this is going to close. So like a toggle toggle action so <clears throat> and then the MD navigation drawer we will have a box layout and the orientation is vertical so this this box uh, we are going to put a first uh, image button in the box on the top and this is going to be our profile picture we give you the ID called profile and then the source is going to be app dot image source path so we haven't defined the app of uh, image source uh, path here yet, uh, but we are going to define it later. Um, let me come back to here. So this image button is going to take the source from the app dot image source path, and then we divide uh, define a canvas, uh, which is going to be the background color uh, of uh, the image button. And then when we click this button, when we release it, it's going to call this navigation drawer to uh, close it back because we want to go to something, some other page. Which is the next one, we want to change the screen to a profile photo screen. So what is going to happen is as, uh, let me just save it. And then maybe when I run it, <coughs> Let's look at the actual picture to have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Oops, we have an error here because we haven't defined the image source path, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. Should I? Okay. I think it's better for me to go through next several step. Uh, because we uh, then we come back to explain this one so in order to use the the hex color here we have to import this uh, import utils from kv utils and um, you want to have an empty.jpg file which you can download from my github repository uh, empty.jpg file uh, put it in the same level as the main.py which I have already done it so then the next one you want to uh, the main.py you want to add the OS path of the image which is our image source path so I copy this Oops. and then go to my main.py so 
I'm going to put this under my main app. So, if the OS path is found, if this uh, file uh, is exist, we will open it up and then we will read the path, the text inside the, the text file. So, if there is something there, we are going to assign this path inside the text file to be our image source path. Otherwise, we will. If there is nothing inside, we are going to say this image source path equal to md.jpg. Else, image source path equal to md.jpg. So, if there is nothing, or if there is no this file, this file is not exist. Uh, we are going to uh just say our image source path is equal to md.jpg. So now there is no this text file here, which means that our image source file is going to be our md.jpg file. Okay. And then in order to use OS, we are going to do the last step, which is import OS. So let me import OS. Save. And go back to main.kv, make sure I save it. So I will run it and then we'll go back to main.kv to explain to you uh, the remaining code that I have written. <clears throat> cool. So now we click our hamburger button. Now you see the md.jpg file here. Okay. We go back to main.kv and we close this. So you see that <coughs> what's going to happen is uh, we have an image button which is this one. Okay, the ID is profile. The default by default the source is going to be app.image source path, which is the md.jpg if this text file is doesn't exist. So when are we going to have this profile source.txt? In tutorial number 28, I believe, I will show you how to build a profile folder manager in which uh, when you click this image button, it's going to open up a new page for you, uh, which is a file manager that allows you to choose the image that you want to build here. So when a, bit, when a person install this app onto their phone, <clears throat> first, initially, they're going to have an empty picture. But then after that, they can actually choose the picture that they want to use. Well, I can actually show you what's going to happen in tutorial number 28. Yeah, now this is going to happen because when you click this button, you can actually choose from your folder <coughs> which image that you want to use. Okay. So, go back to the code. <coughs> Where we are. Okay, so this canvas is the this one, the background color of the uh, empty dot jpeg, <coughs> and then on release, it's going to close when you click this. It's going to close this navigation drawer, and then it's going to change screen to a profile photo screen that will allow you to open your file manager. Okay. So under the same box layout, we have a label which is called profile picture. Uh, the font style is subtitle one, size in y height. So, and then we are going to have an empty, another empty label. Welcome to Singapore. Uh, my Singapore transport tracking app. So, I'm going to change it to my transport tracking app. My transport. Okay. And then next you will have a scroll view. So actually you don't need a scroll view unless you have a lot of buttons here. I just leave it as a scroll view so that you know that above the list you can actually have a scroll view. If if your list actually exceed the, the 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 total length of your screen you should have, can have a scroll view to allow the user to scroll uh, through the list okay 
then we're gonna create a one line icon list item okay and in this one line icon list item you can define your tags uh, in this button uh, when we click it we want to show a change team function that allow the user to uh, select the team we call it team picker I'm going to probably uh, also show you in tutorial number 25 or 26 something like that and then we also want to toggle the navigation drawer to make sure we close this navigation drawer and then make sure you define your icon in this case I put it as a pencil um, and then the other one line icon list item uh, is the same but then in this time we, when we click this button it's going to go to uh, your another page for favorite bus arrival page or screen that will show you uh, all the bus that you save with uh, the star button in the bus arrival page okay so you may have a question in which uh, how do I know uh, what other icon they are available well um, you can go to key VMD icon list I believe yeah then you go to icon definition Yep. So you um, maybe yeah. Oops. You go to kvmd icon definition dot pi. There is a whole list of icon that you can use. Yeah. But the bad thing is uh, they they actually don't show you a preview of what what these icon are. So sometimes you have to try and error yourself. Uh to see which icon that you want to use okay otherwise you can build uh, a list of one like that item list one a list of uh, uh, one line icon list item that will show you what each icon are <clears throat> okay so that is not the whole point of this uh, video but uh, the whole point is that we actually build a navigation drawer like this okay open it close it open it close it so we it's okay to leave this function as it is for now even though we don't have it in our man.py uh, even throw an error uh, but if you click the button it will throw an error to you so uh, we are going to create them in the um, later stage of the tutorial series to make sure we cover this okay so I hope you like the content for today by the way uh, one more thing that I missed out is the hex code so if you want to check what hex code is it you can go to hdmlcolorcodes.com put in your code and this is the hex code that I'm using of course you can use other code that you like in your code in, I mean in your screen uh, yeah, I just randomly pick a color. <clears throat> okay. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave in uh, at the um, comments below. Like my uh, video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I hope you will continue to stay tuned to the series. And the next video, we will cover the taxi screen with the map view and the dialogue to show you the details of the taxi and taxi stand nearby. See you.